We now learn how to rationalize the denominator for expressions which are slightly more complicated than the ones we've seen so far. Consider the expression we have here, for instance. We have 3 over 5 minus the square root of 2. We can see that we have a radical on the denominator. Indeed, we have square root of 2 here. So we need to rationalize this denominator to get rid of it. And when one first sees one of these, one may be tempted to try and use the method we've seen so far, and that would be to try and multiply this by 1 over the square root of 2. But unfortunately, that won't work. And here's why. When distributing this square root of 2 across this denominator, it will definitely get rid of this square root of 2. Indeed, it'll turn into 2. But since it's multiplying this 5 as well, we'll end up with a 5 root 2 on the denominator. In other words, we're just changing the problem, but the problem's still there. So this method will not work. Luckily for us, though, there's a nice little technique we can use. We can state that this equals to 3 over 5 minus the square root of 2 times 5 plus the square root of 2 over 5 plus the square root of 2. Now let me just stop there for a second. Notice that the expression that I'm currently circling in green has a numerator and a denominator that are equal, and they're both found by using the denominator we were given in the initial expression and changing from a minus to a plus. Another thing worth pointing out is that this expression is equal to 1. And consequently, when I multiply 3 over 5 minus root 2 by this expression, I'm not changing its value. I'm simply writing it in a different way. Okay, now that's said, let's carry on with this calculation. This leads to 3 times in parentheses 5 plus the square root of 2 over 5 minus the square root of 2 in parentheses times 5 plus the square root of 2. And now I'm going to stop again for a second. This denominator is in the format a minus b times a plus b. And that corresponds to the difference of two squares. That is, this equals to a squared minus b squared. Now, if you don't remember that formula or you're unfamiliar with it, you definitely want to make a note of this now. This is known as the difference of two squares, and it is an absolute must-know when learning how to rationalize denominators. To make things clear, the denominator we have here is a minus b times a plus b. And so using the difference of two squares formula, we can go ahead and state that 5 minus the square root of 2 times 5 plus the square root of 2 equals to 5 squared minus the square root of 2 squared. And we usually write the square root of 2 in parentheses. Keeping this result in mind, we move back to our calculation here, and we start with the numerator on which we distribute the 3 across the parentheses. That would be 3 times 5 plus 3 times the square root of 2. And on the denominator, we use the result we just wrote in green here to write 5 squared minus the square root of 2 squared. That leads us to 3 times 5, which is 15, plus 3 times root 2, which is just 3 root 2. And on the denominator, we have 5 squared, which is 25, minus the square root of 2 squared, which is 2. Finally, we can state that this equals to 15 plus 3 root 2 over 23. And we're done. We've just rationalized this denominator. Indeed, we can see that on the denominator, we no longer have any radicals or square roots. It's been rationalized. The technique we've just seen here will work each and every single time the denominator looks something like this. a plus or minus the square root of b. Okay, 
Now we're going to work through a couple more examples, but before doing so, let me make something very clear. Looking back at the initial expression we were given here, 3 over 5 minus the square root of 2, to rationalize the denominator, we multiplied it by the expression that I circled in green here. And to make that expression, all we did was copy this denominator, 5 minus the square root of 2, and replace the minus by a plus. And we did that on both the numerator and the denominator. The rest of the job was to simplify the expression we had as much as possible. And to do that, we used the difference of two squares formula. If the initial expression had had a 5 plus the square root of 2, the expression circled in green would have been 5 minus the square root of 2 over 5 minus the square root of 2. In other words, the operation in between the two terms in the green expression will always be the opposite of the operation on the denominator of the initial expression. Okay, now that that's said, let's look at another example. Say we're given 10 over 4 plus the square root of 3. Well, looking at this, we can see that we have a radical expression on the denominator. That's the square root of 3 we see here. And so we need to rationalize this. And to do that, we use exactly the same technique that we've just seen. We can state that this equals to 10 over 4 plus the square root of 3 times 4 minus the square root of 3 over 4 minus the square root of 3. Notice that all I've done to come up with this expression is copy the denominator in the initial expression we had, replacing this plus by a minus on both the numerator and the denominator. Carrying on, this leads to 10 times in parentheses 4 minus the square root of 3 over 4 plus the square root of 3 in parentheses times 4 minus the square root of 3 in parentheses. Now we can see that the denominator can be thought of as a plus b times a minus b, and therefore the difference of two squares allows us to state that that's equal to a squared minus b squared. In other words, 4 plus the square root of 3 times 4 minus the square root of 3 is equal to 4 squared minus the square root of 3 squared where we write the square root in parentheses. Keeping this result in mind, we go back to our calculation, and we start with the numerator, on which we distribute this 10 across the parentheses. And that leads us to 10 times 4 minus 10 times the square root of 3, all of which is over the result we just wrote in green. That's 4 squared minus the square root of 3 squared. So let me just write that, 4 squared minus the square root of 3 squared. Carrying on, the numerator becomes 40 minus 10 root 3, all of which is over 4 squared, which equals to 16, minus the square root of 3 squared, which equals to 3. Finally, we can state that this equals to 40 minus 10 root 3, over 13. And we're done. We've just rationalized this denominator. Now let's look at one last example. Say we're given 5 over the square root of 7 minus 2. Notice that in this case the radical, that square root of 7, is the first term on the denominator. But this won't change anything to our technique. We can go ahead and state that this equals to 5 over the square root of 7 minus 2 times the square root of 7 plus 2 over the square root of 7 plus 2. That's equal to 5 times in parentheses the square root of 7 plus 2 over the square root of 7 minus 2 in parentheses times the square root of 7 plus 2. The denominator can now be thought of as a minus b times a plus b, 
and we can therefore use the difference of two squares formula to state that that must equal to a squared minus b squared. In other words, we'll have the square root of 7 minus 2 times the square root of 7 plus 2, which equals to the square root of 7 squared minus 2 squared. Keeping this result in mind, we go back to our calculations and we start with the numerator, on which we distribute this 5 across the parentheses. That leads us to 5 times the square root of 7 plus 5 times 2, all of which is written over the expression we just found in green. So that would be the square root of 7 squared minus 2 squared. That's equal to 5 root 7 plus 5 times 2, which is 10. And that's over the square root of 7 squared, which is 7, minus 2 squared, which is 4. Finally, we can state that this equals to 5 root 7 plus 10 over 3. And we're done. We've just rationalized the denominator. And so that's how to rationalize any expression in which the denominator can be written as a plus or minus the square root of b. And that's it for this tutorial. I really hope that helped, and if it did, please hit like on this video and even subscribe to our channel, because that really does help us. I'll see you soon.